function f of x equals two times the tangent of three x. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the vertical asymptotes of this function. So solution. First thing you wanna do is write it in terms of sine and cosine. So you can write this as two times the sine of three x over the cosine of three x. Okay? This function is going to have vertical asymptotes whenever it's undefined. That's going to happen when the bottom is equal to zero. So in other words, whenever cosine of three x is equal to zero. So now we simply set the bottom equal to zero. And we have to solve this equation. So here's the key technique. This is the most important part of the problem, solving this equation, okay? There's no conditions on x, so x can be any number here, right? So there's not like an interval or anything. So we have to find all vertical asymptotes in this problem. So you should know, it's good to know, it's a good life skill to help you shop out more. Cosine x is equal to zero if and only if x is equal to pi over two plus k pi, where k here is a whole number. So in other words, is an integer, okay? So cosine x is equal to zero only when x is equal to pi over two plus k pi, where k is an integer. So in this problem, we have tangent. You write it in terms of sine and cosine. It's gonna have vertical asymptotes whenever it's undefined. That happens when the bottom is zero. So you know that if there's a cosine of x is equal to zero, whenever x is equal to this. So in this problem, it's cosine of blah equal to zero whenever blah, which is, which is our x, is equal to pi over two plus k. So if you had seven x here, you would just set seven x equal to this. If I had, if I had three, who cares about the two by the way, if I had 10, seven pi x over nine, you would just take 7 pi x over 9 and set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. Just take whatever is here and set it equal to this every single time. That always works whenever cosine is on the bottom. Okay, anyways, in this problem, we have 3x, so we're here. All you do now is just multiply by 1 third to solve for x. So 1 third, 1 third, these cancel, so you get x equals, let's be really careful here, pi over 2 times 1 over 3. Pi times 1 is pi, 2 times 3 is 6 k pi times 1 over 3, well, 1 times k pi is just k pi is just k, k pi over 3. And let's not forget to say k is an integer. And these are all the vertical asymptotes of this trig function. I hope that made some sense.